the Premier League is finally back. Hello guys and welcome to Stevie C TV. This is the Premier League preview for game week 30. We've got a big game this weekend. We have got Manchester City versus Arsenal at the Etihad. Big crucial one for the top of the league. And who is going to finish top of the league by the end of the season? I'm sure this fixture will give us an idea on uh, how that one's going to go. Before we start to get into the fixtures, guys, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and make sure we're sharing it out so other people can see my predictions as well. For the first game, guys, we have got Newcastle versus West Ham. With this one, I think we're looking at a Newcastle win. I'm going to go with a 2-1 win here for Newcastle. Uh, Newcastle are going to struggle a bit, though, because defensively they have lost Botman for nine months. Um, he's going to be a big, big miss. Um, and, again, he's going to miss the Euros now. Um, he's a crucial player for Newcastle and their defensive line. Lascelles is going to have to step up. If it's Lascelles is the replacement, um, but I don't think he's got the quality that Botman has. But he brings a different style of play to the game. So let's see what Newcastle can do. As for West Ham, though, they got a point against Aston Villa last time, which was a surprise for me. So can they go out and get a win against Newcastle? The teams are quite level in the league, so let's see. But I'm still going with that two-one win. Next game is Bournemouth versus Everton. Um, I think this is going to be a board draw, nil-nil. I think uh, Bournemouth have got good quality in their uh, attacking side. Uh, they've got Semenya, they've got Solanke, people who are getting on the score sheet. Obviously, Solanke's been out injured for a few weeks, but he is back in that starting lineup properly now. And then, as for Everton, they're creating chances, but they need to be more clinical up front. They need to put that ball in the back of the net. So... They're getting all the way to the final third, but then they just have that missing element where they just can't score. Calvert-Lewin's not scored for a while. So if anybody's going to score, it's going to be him. Especially when the fact that I think it's going to be a board draw. It'll be a high-scoring game, no doubt. So let's see which one it's going to be. But I'm going with that board draw, nil-nil. Next, we've got Chelsea versus Burnley at Stamford Bridge. Burnley coming off that big win the last time out. They got a win over Brentford which was a surprise for me. <laughs> I thought Brentford was going to uh, run over uh, Burnley there, but they didn't. Whereas for Chelsea, I think they've got enough quality in the side to go out and see off Burnley in this game. So I'm going to go with a Chelsea 1-0 win here. I just think they've got a bit more quality. Um, they might have had a bad season so far, and they might be sitting 10th or 11th, but they have a lot more quality than Burnley do. But Burnley can get him on the attack, so let's see what happens. But Chelsea 1-0. Forest versus Palace next. I'm going to go with a 1-1 draw here. And the reason I'm saying this is because Forest um, and Palace both have great attacking players, but they don't have great defences, in my opinion. Palace can know how to sit back if they need to. Um, but I think both teams can break down each other. But then you've also got the fact that Bo um, Forest have just had a recent deduction of four points um, due to their breach of financial rules. But that might give them a bit more confidence to go out and get the win because they're now sat in the relegation zone. So I think the 1-1 draw, but it could potentially be swayed by a Nottingham Forest win here. Sheffield United versus Fulham is next. Fulham just got a 3-0 victory over Spurs the last time out. Can they carry that confidence? I think they can. I think they can. Fulham are a quality side and they've had some really good results this season. Maybe had some bad results which they didn't expect to lose. But they have had some good results and they are playing good football. I'm going to say 3-1 to Fulham here. I think Sheffield just don't have enough quality. They did manage to get a point against Bournemouth last time out. But... I just don't think they're there. I don't think they're going to survive. I think they've got no attacking flair to them. It's just going to be a really bad, bad end to their season, I think. But some of the results that they've had, it, I think even Sheffield United fans are resigned to the fact that they are getting relegated this season. Spurs versus Luton is the next game. Spurs, again, as I just mentioned, they need to come back and bounce back because after that loss to Fulham, 
they won't be happy with that. Obviously, they've had a few players out on international duty. I don't know how fit that strength side is, but Madison played on for England the other day, and uh, he looks to be quite fit still. So, see what Madison can do there. Luton are one point above the relegation zone due to the uh, de point deduction for Forest, but I think they've got enough fight in them. They 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 really want to win and stay in the Premier League, and I think they will do this season. Um, just for the sheer fact they've got the fight and they've got the fans at Kenilworth Road. They are getting good results at Kenilworth Road. So they're getting big points off big teams. So let's see how that finishes. But I do think it's going to be a Spurs 2-0 win here. The half five kickoff for Saturday is Villa versus Wolves. I'm going to go with a 2-1 Aston Villa win here. Um, Aston Villa sit fourth at the moment in the league. They will not want to drop any more points after getting the point against West Ham. Um, can they survive top four? I'm not too sure. I think they might actually be the team that stay fourth. But there's a lot of pressure from Spurs and United. And somebody's going to end up slipping up somewhere. And Aston Villa don't want to be that team. So I can, I can see them going on to win this game. But there is a lot of pressure on them to get that result. As for Wolves, they're having a good season. They're actually attacking teams, um, which is why I do think they'll get a goal in this game. But they're overperforming, in my opinion. A lot of people said before the, this season started that they could potentially be relegated this year. And I think they're 8th, ninth comfortably in their league at the moment. So um, Wolves, again, overperforming. But I just don't think they've got enough in this game. So let's see what happens on Saturday. But I'm going with that 2-1 win for Aston Villa. Brentford versus United next. That's an 8 o'clock Saturday game. I think United can go on and win this game 2-0. I um, I feel like United will carry the confidence now uh, from the Liverpool game in the FA Cup. It's been that long since the Premier League game, guys. I do think that we'll carry that confidence. But having this international break might have broken up that confidence and um, the team chemistry that it have brought up with that result as a United team they look like they've managed to get a few players back from injury as well I think Casemiro is the only one that misses out Mason Mount slowly coming back in but this is the time where United need to push for that top four finish I don't think they'll get there myself I think we might just miss out and might just get to fifth but um, if we're going to try and fight for that top four we need to start doing it now and that's this is the game where we start to do that Brentford though they will be without Regulon and I do think he'll be a miss at the left-back position there. He had a red card in their last game. And they will also want to bounce back after Burnley's result last time out. Sunday's games now. So two games on Sunday. The first one is Liverpool versus Brighton at Anfield. I think Liverpool I need a result here. I think they really want to bounce back off that FA Cup exit. They won't be happy with that. They want to see off Klopp in a very good way. And if they want to fight for that title, then... Uh, a big result is needed, and I do think they'll get that. I think it will be finished 4-0 in this game. Um, Liverpool have so much quality. And Brighton, um, I don't know if anybody saw the way that Dunks played in the last two England games for them. He's not been impressive at all, and he made some big mistakes. And Brighton's defence this year hasn't been good. They might still sit quite nicely in the table but and gain some decent results, but they just don't have that defensive shape this year and that's where they have cost some points in the league and they could have been even higher in the league this year but because of them the defensive mistakes uh they've let it slip and i just think liverpool have way too much in that team and create too many chances to not score um get a high scoring game in this one so i'm going four nil we finally got there the last game guys manchester city versus arsenal I'm actually going to do a watch along on this one because it's the top two teams in the Prem. So if you are interested, guys, please watch the YouTube on Sunday and I will be on a watch along with that and we'll watch it together and enjoy the game. Uh, I might be a United fan, but anybody who loves football, a top team, top uh, top of the table game, you can't complain at and uh, it should be a fun one to watch. But as for my result... I'm actually going with a draw in this one. I'm going 1-1. One, one. The reason why I'm going 1-1 one, one is because I feel like City got a few injuries over the week um, in the international period. And Akanji, Stones, Walker. I don't know if any of them are going to play. Uh, but having those injuries 
will uh, affect their shape. It's a good job Manchester City have so many centre-backs. So they'll still have um, Diaz, Ake, Gavardiol. But missing those two play three players could be a big, big miss for them. And uh, against a team like Arsenal, who seem to be scoring for fun at the moment, um, it could be a big, big loss. And um, Arsenal will want to thrive off that, and they could go and get the win. But I'm going with a 1-1 draw. This is Arsenal's title to lose now, though. Um, they are sat first in the league. Yes, it might be off goal difference, but they are still first. And um, losing points here could be crucial to them. So they won't want to lose any points, but... I do see Manchester City's crowd getting behind them. Yes, I'm saying it as a United fan. I do actually feel like the fans will get behind City. And this is the time when City usually turn it on. Um, so it could go either way this game. But I'm going with a 1-1 draw. That's been the video, guys. Like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Let me know your opinions, guys. Let me know your opinions. We've also got Discord. So you can get your opinions on there as well now. I'll put the link in the description on this video. And you can uh, try and jump into the Discord invite there as well. We're on Spotify. So if you do like listening to podcasts rather than watching the videos, then we do have that option as well, guys. So again, please like the video. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.